What is nerve fibromatosis? In simple terms, this is a condition that tumors can grow on a person's nerves more likely than others. From the U.S. National Library of Medicine, some of the signs a person might have this is cafe au lait spots, which literally translates to coffee with milk. These are macules, meaning they are a flat patch. They vary in size and are light brown, but are darker than the skin color. Which one is right here? They are harmless and normal people have them, but when a person has them in abundance, it becomes a sign of neurofibromatosis type 1. These spots you can get at any point in life, but they can fade as well. Another sign is a neurofibroma, which is a non-cancerous or a benign tumor that develops from the cells and tissues that cover nerves. It can be hard to see, but I actually have one right here. Um, the next sign is auxiliary freckling and of the armpit hits and groin. Another sign is scoliosis and leg bowing and also short stature. Another sign is also lymph nodules which are found in the eyes. They are very similar to cafe au lait spots on the skin. People with neurofibromatosis also have an increased risk of having a learning disability like ADHD or ADD. While many people have two, one or two of these signs, you need at least three to be diagnosed with this condition. Neurofibromatosis is also called von Rakhausen's disease, and about every one in 3,000 people have this condition. According to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia's website, People with NF1 are also at risk for malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors, which this means the tumors are cancerous and located on the outside of the nerve. Another is polychromatones. Uh, they are the tumors of the adrenal glands, which are on your kidneys. Um, leukemia is also a cancer that is heightened. Also, breast cancer, gastrointestinal stroma tumors. Another is rhabdomyosarcoma, which are tumors of the muscles. And this condition can also cause high blood pressure, seizures, and stroke, uh, changes in blood vessels in the brain. This condition is hereditary, meaning it is passed down from a parent. Though it can be mutated, meaning it's not found in either parent. Now knowing what it is, let's discuss how it comes about. Neurofibromatosis is caused by an altercation in a suspicious gene known as NF1, which is located on chromosome number 17. This gene is the only gene to be known to be associated with neurofibromatosis type 1. This gene produces a protein known as neurofibrin, which acts as a tumor suppressor, which helps keep the cells from growing and dividing too quickly. If a person has neurofibromatosis type 1, one of the NF genes is altered from the two copies you get, one from each parent. There really isn't any treatment for this condition. This is a multi-system condition that involves almost every bodily system. It is sad that many people do not know about this condition as it is fairly common, as I stated before, affecting one in every 3,000 people. I am one of those people, and I talk about this every chance I get because being informed on something is important, and I want the world to know that so that people who have this worse than I do don't have to live in being fear of being made fun of for being different.